Hey there everybody, this is Piper here and today we're playing some more SimCity 4. So this video is all about city building. It's going to be like a mini tutorial in tips and tricks in building large cities and just some general pointers in good city building techniques and some things I've learned over the years playing this game. So this is the, if you watch the SimCity 4 mods video, I've included a lot of really good mods in that video which ones are the best ones to get to enhance your cities. So I would thoroughly advise you to go and watch that video and get some of these mods because I'm actually using the mods in this city. So this is the same city as I used in that video and well it's, it's actually a fairly large city. It's about a quarter of a million people living in the city. It's a normal sized box. So it's a fairly it's a fairly large number of people to be living in a city of this size. So we're going to look at the city. And the first thing I'm going to say is you need to have good transport in the city. So whatever city you build, big or small, you need to have pretty good uh, road network. I need to have good uh, public transport. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the buildings and we're going to look at the zones. So if you look at the the road infrastructure of this building. I've got a massive elevated highway that runs through the centre of the city and you always want to build elevated highways in SimCity 4. Don't ever build the, the ground ones. The elevated ones are a lot better. So I've got a, a massive elevated highway system going through. I've got a what can only be described as a spaghetti junction of a connection. So that's connecting uh, both highways and each of these elevated areas they have a really high capacity so they can hold a lot of cars so connecting the highways to the actual city, the, the buildings I've got avenues so basically if you look at the, the avenues it's almost like a, a squared box avenue so we've got the motorway going through the centre we've got avenue sort of a, a box shape and then we've got more avenues going downwards and crossing as well. So it's worth bearing, it's worth mentioning that on the highway I made loads of connections because in order to maximise the highways you need to build off ramps. So those are off ramps there. And if you have NAM it will connect automatically. So you want to build as many connections as you can from your highways. So you also want to build connections to your neighbouring cities. So if you want to build a really large city, you want to build like a massive city like this. If you install all the mods I've recommended, you'll get a city like this. But to make them even bigger, you want to connect all your cities up. So once you build your, your road infrastructure, you want to make sure you build as many connections as possible to your neighbouring cities. In this city, I've got a, a public subway system. So if you see these green buildings, they are high, this is actually called Ninja Boulevard Station. So if you install NAM and you install the mod that I've recommended, you get these things called the Ninja Boulevard Station. And it's basically, instead of you having to build subway stations, uh, bus stations, train stations, Let's move this up if we can, close this down. It has everything combined. So you build that, that does everything. So basically in the city I'll have a, a bus system and a subway system. So that's the first thing you want to do in SimCity. You want to make sure you have your, your transport sorted. If your sims can get to their place of work or if it takes them all day, um, they're not going to be too happy and you'll not get skyscrapers. So if we check out some of these um, residential areas, if you see commute time, it says short. Commute time short. The bulk of these buildings will have short commute time because we have NAM installed and it's a pretty good road network. So the next thing you want to do, you want to make sure you have education, health and 
fire system and police services. You basically want to make sure your sims have what they need to survive. So if they have a really high crime rate, they're not going to be too happy. If they don't have education, you're not going to have the high paying jobs. You need to make sure you have all those systems in place. So you want to go through each one, make sure you have your health and education and security services in place for your sims. So once you've got your, your little network and you've got your services in place, obviously you have to have garbage systems, you have to have all your buildings need to be powered by electricity and they need to have water. So that's the other thing in the services, your sims have to have the basic requirements of electricity and water. So once those things are out of the way, you might be, you might have already done all that and you might think, oh, I still don't have the skyscrapers. The other thing about skyscrapers, they need good air quality. So if we look closely at the city, we've got some skyscrapers, but we've also got areas like pine trees. And this is actually one of the, the buildings I've installed. It's a, a textured uh, wood area. We've got pine trees there. We've got a park over here, another park here. So without all this greenery, um, this area would have a bit of a pollution problem and perhaps you wouldn't get the skyscrapers. So if you build a commercial area or for example, high density residential, you need to make sure you have trees and park areas. And that basically means that it increases the air quality and it's actually called, um, it's not a NIMBY, that's not my backyard, it's actually a positive thing. So basically it increases the attractiveness of the area having this, which means that more people want to live in this area, increases demand and they'll actually build skyscrapers. So you want to do all that, which for the reasons listed will give you bigger skyscrapers. Also, these parks will act, will act as a sort of a, a social area. It gives your, your sims a place to relax. Um, they can go to the park, chill out, de-stress. So it actually fulfills a number of roles building parks in these sort of areas. So if you do all those things, maybe you want to build a couple of landmarks as well. Uh, you're going to have a really nice city. And plus the fact that if you if you want a high tech industry, um, for example, let's find some high tech. We've got high tech industry here. You've got a collection of high tech and manufacturing. If you want a high tech industry, you need to have low pollution in your city. You need to have high education and low pollution. So you do have a little bit of dirty industry over here but a lot of this is high-tech industry. Um, that's basically everything for this tutorial. In terms of how you actually zone your city, um, I've always done this. I've always put the industry on the outside. That's the best way of um, making sure your manufacturing can actually have low uh, freight trips. So if you put your industry on the outside, means that they can send their supplies to other cities very fast because you have all these connections and it also means that you can put a layer of commercial on the outside put some uh, residential in the center and more commercial in the center so the industry will actually be shipping merchandise out the city but they'll also be shipping uh, stuff to your own industry, to your own commercial rather, in your own city. So you want to make sure you have your, you have at least some commercial nearby or adjacent to industry. So you can do industry, commercial, residential, commercial, it's always good. Or you can mix up your residential with your commercial, whatever suits you. As long as you have at least maybe it's like 40, 45% of your commercial adjacent to your industry. If you follow that, 
you will not um, go far wrong. So that's really everything I want to say in this tutorial. It's a very brief tutorial in city building. Uh, some tips and tricks right there. Um, some things like uh, country house, mayor's house. Um, it all adds to your city, all makes your city more attractive. And if you follow what I've said in the city building guide, I'm sure you'll create some pretty amazing cities and you'll not, as I said before, you won't go far wrong if you adopt the strategies I've suggested. So again, hope you've learned something from this tutorial. I hope you found it beneficial and you've enjoyed watching it. Um, stay tuned for more videos. As always, I'm always open to suggestions in future videos. Let me know your thoughts. This is Piper signing off.